Esther's case by Ms. Tu necessarily going to lead us to the conclusion that traditional Chinese medicine is effective? I don't think it proves that point at all. I think it's almost irrelevant. Few people understand traditional Chinese medicine. There's no question the Westerners involved in either nominating or awarding her the Nobel Prize understand much of traditional Chinese medicine. So it's clear that they award her for the discovery of a chemical that can treat an important and devastating disease. And in fact, in traditional Western medicine, we can call that, they've got chemicals from different herbs. And some of the herbs was discovered in countries other than Western. The drug before artemisinin that treats malaria is quinine. Mm. Quinine was discovered from plants. And that was based on folklore in non-Western countries. So people have done that before. And, and more than science have made or discovered new drugs from old traditionally known herbs. But this has aroused a whole debate in this country, as you may know, Dr. Rao, about you know, the foundation of Chinese traditional medicine. I'm clearly on the side that the theories of traditional Chinese medicine are something that will remain to be debated. But the drug part, therapies for treatment, there are clearly some very good components that need to be discovered. And I support the approach of two, which is using modern chemistry, modern science, to get chemicals from traditional therapies mm -hmm. and find treatment for diseases we all care about. Traditionally, though, Chinese believe in traditional Chinese medicine, even though the theories and the scientific evidence are not necessarily clear, while the remedies could in many cases proven to be effective. Medicine is not about belief. It's not religion. Medicine have to be practiced, have to have foundations. And so science is clearly the one that drives medicine, drives modern medicine. And I believe the case of two and a few other cases that I know have proven modern scientific approach to traditional Chinese medicine is clearly effective. The other alternatives I'm not sure whether they will ever be effective.